what's up guys welcome back to everything wedding thank you guys so much for clicking on today's video as usual we are super excited to have you guys on the channel thank you guys for always coming back if you're new here kindly consider subscribing to the channel do not forget to give this video a thumbs up as that helps to grow the channel also leave me a comment in the comment section let me know which gown for this particular video is your favorite and why is it your favorite you can also share this video with your loved ones as you might not know who might need it Turn it wrong, turn it to an ocean, let me float around Eyes closed so guys in today's video as we get to enjoy these gorgeous tanning gowns we're also going to be sharing with you how to plan the perfect rehearsal dinner menu your rehearsal dinner menu is an opportunity to really have some fun particularly if your wedding reception leans more formal with a seated multi-course dinner and traditional entry options so most couples want their rehearsal dinner to feel completely different and more casual than their actual wedding day Use yours to inject your personality and preferences as a couple with a meal that will set the tone for the rest of your wedding weekend. So when it comes to planning a rehearsal dinner menu, there's so many things that you need to consider and everything from the location of the party to the number of the people invited to the time of the year can factor into what is going to be served. So firstly you need to think about timing, consider what your guests will enjoy, but in the end serve what you want to eat, it is your wedding weekend. With that in mind, there are plenty of elements to think about while executing your vision. For example, think about logistics and timing, do not eat dinner too late, and guests traveling from other time zones earlier than that day, and you don't want to go to bed late either. Something else you need to consider is to pick food that is easy to eat. When you're thinking about your rehearsal dinner menu items, make sure the food is easy to eat. Maybe guests are meeting each other for the first time at their table that night. They don't want to be embarrassed trying to eat a complicated or a messy menu item. So we suggest choosing more risky items as appetizer or passed over food and going a little safer with the entry selection. Another thing you need is to consider the visual presentation of the meal. Also, when it comes to food, we suggest asking your chef or your caterer what they love to cook and what they do best. And if they aren't trained sushi chef, don't make them do sushi. And of course, consider the whole meal from a visual perspective. Incorporate menu items that spark conversation at the table by using beautiful presentation and color or unique items. You also want to make sure that you have enough staff and great staff to execute your vision for the menu. In my opinion, it doesn't matter how good the food is if the service isn't there. Another thing you need to consider is to forgo tradition. Who says it has to be a rehearsal dinner? Flip tradition on its head entirely and do lunch instead. Something I see trending in 2021 is ditching the traditional rehearsal dinner and doing a daytime event instead. Beach barbecues and margaritas and service come to mind. Another tip is to give a nod to your roots. Include special menu items or a complete menu theme to reflect the groom's family roots. Whether it's beer from your favorite brewery back at home or asking the caterer to use his grandma's famous apple pie recipe for dessert. For a Spanish client recently, we designed the entire menu based on authentic Spanish cuisine. Say what you 
and also you need to go locally sourced and seasonal let the season and your surroundings inspire the menu for example if you're getting married in the middle of winter don't push for a tomato basil burrata crostini just because that's your absolute favorite appetizer well sourced and in season ingredients are always the best always request that your caterer use food and produce from local farms We also want you to know that it's okay to mix and match. I often mix up the traditional plated dinner with family style sides or appetizer to make the format a little less predictable. French fries are always a great crowd pleaser for the sides and a bit unexpected at a more formal event. You can serve the French fries with more unique dips like truffle ketchup in addition to your traditional ketchup. And also do not forget a sweet treat. A rehearsal dinner is a nice format to get up and move around for the dessert course. Whether you do an old school ice cream bar or a dessert station full of different pies and cake, it is nice to eat this at your own pace while you are mingling. If it is an uh, ice cream bar station, work in both of your favorite toppings. If it is a pie station, you could each pick your favorite pie flavor or maybe share a family favorite recipe with the chef to recreate. So whether it's a backyard barbecue, a seafood feast near the beach, or an old school Italian served family style theme, Themes are a fun way to tie a rehearsal dinner together and we're going to give you a few ways to make yours memorable. So we have the Geek Fest. Another menu I have loved doing for a rehearsal dinner is a family style Geek Mediterranean dinner. It is perfect light and can feel very different from the elegant wedding dinner the following night. We love starting with traditional chick pita hini spread and then we can go with warm pita and grilled octopus. We also have the Mexican fiesta and Mexican vibes really work well depending on the location. I am a fan of stations and not buffet and which are separated by item and manned by a chef where guests can make their own taco plates and you have plenty of margaritas and coronas on hand and perhaps a, ma a mariachi band too. We also have the barbecue night, another crowd freezer option, barbecue stations with all the works including pulled pork sliders, fried chicken, cornbread, mac and cheese and collard greens. Just make sure you have plenty of wet naps and napkins on hand for guests to keep their hands clean. So guys, we want to thank you so much for watching today's video. We are super excited always to have you guys on the channel and we try to make these videos useful to you. And guys, if you loved the video today, kindly don't forget to subscribe on the channel. Do not forget to give this video a thumbs up as that helps to grow the channel. Also, leave me a comment in the comment section. Let me know which gown was your favorite and I'll see you on the next one.